Hello good people, it has been a while but I'm back and today I want us to look at a very simple trick that will help you uh, save more time when you are working on your document or when you are trying just to copy paste. Uh, copy paste is very simple and we all use it. So what about if we add more, one more, just one more shortcut to it that will help you save a lot of time when you are working. Uh, well we know that uh, the shortcut to copy is control C and the shortcut to paste is control V. So the shortcuts are this Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. But then again, these are just two shortcuts that sometimes they are not very efficient if you want to copy a, a large amount of data. I'll prove to you how what I'm what I'm going to say. Okay. So let's say I want um I'll start on top here. Let's say I want to copy this image. I want to copy this data here, but I don't want to copy this part. Then I want to copy your name. I don't want to copy the date. But then I want to copy introduction. Skip this part. And then come down here and copy all of this. How do I, how do, I do that without uh, first in, starting from here and copying everything like this? Because for you to copy several segments of a big document, you either copy the segment itself or copy everything and end it later. So now I want us to skip the part where you have to copy everything and just copy the segment, store them temporarily on your computer and later you can move them to where you want to move them after. Uh, you can transfer them to a different document or wherever you want to transfer them uh, once you are you're done copying. So, so you first copy all the segments you want in a document then you move them to a different document without first in ha without having first to copy everything and then end it or just copy one by one which takes a lot of time if you have to copy one segment at a time maybe you want to copy this segment at a time then you copy this one you paste then you come back you copy this part then you paste then you maybe you just want to copy this part here you first you copy what about you just want to copy Every, everything at the same time, copy everything, maybe different sections, copy, copy, then then come down here and copy, then come here and copy, and then after you're done copying, you move the you move you transfer everything to a different document without having fast to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, which now takes a lot of time to go back and forth. So I want us to add one shortcut down here. It's a very easy shortcut and it's you click on your computer you click uh sorry you click windows key windows key plus p what this does it opens a clipboard in your computer wow oh, just to do it with me click on windows key then letter v at the same time uh, now uh, I already have a hand this copy and you get a clipboard like this and if you have not uh, used it and if it has never been activated in your computer you can you uh, your computer once you click on windows plus vim the key windows key plus vim you will see some instructions please follow them and your clipboard will be activated now uh, if you have already activated your clipboard, it will be like this. If you haven't copied anything today or since you switched on your computer, so it will be empty and it will be like this. Now, let's see how this works. So, okay. I'll come on top here. Like I said, I want to copy this image. So, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and copy, copy that image. I want to copy this heading as well, so I'll go ahead and copy. Alright, then I don't want this part here, so I will skip it. Remember, we are trying not to copy at the same time, so we'll keep on copying. Then I want to copy this part here, so I'll go ahead and copy this part here. As you can see, I'm not pasting fast, I'm simply just copying. Then I'll go ahead and copy this part as well. Alright, I don't want this part, so I'll skip it and then copy the all of this. Alright, now we have this. Well copied and now we are here. Alright, so um uh keep these shortcuts in mind. Remember the shortcut we added is Windows plus V. Okay, then now skip down here. Then like we did before, click on Windows key plus V. 
and the clipboard will open again now as you can see there are so many options uh so many tests that uh, when i opened it last night it was empty like now you see i have some data here and the first one which you can see it's just a blank but if you move a cursor on top of it you see it's highlighted it's actually the image and the reason why i cannot see it in this state it's because uh it was copied from an active document once you copy an image from an active document which is not uh stored anywhere maybe in just in the crown it won't be like this but if you copy something on on the internet maybe on a website you see it if you copy something from your computer you will see it if you cut something with with um with snipping 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 to it will you see it it will be here so actually most of the times when i snip something and i just i don't save it in my computer and just copy it and i'll find it in my clipboard once i check all right so now to to paste this here we will just uh, maybe I, I want to start with this one science report so i will just click on it move the mouse on top of it and then boom like that so now we we have been able to paste that maybe we want to paste something else from our clipboard remember shortcut is uh, windows key plus v okay so every time you want to paste you click on that then uh you choose whatever you want to paste next maybe i want to paste this one maybe i want to paste this subtitles uh introduction perfect then i'll go ahead and then choose another test all right so i want maybe i want to paste this one so i will go ahead and do that so as you can see i'm able to paste my test without having to go back and uh well copy and then come back here again so something happens and maybe you will notice this over time is that the test i paste the test the, like right now i just paste in this part it's the active one so if i don't go back there and I just uh paste using the shortcut on just clicking on the right uh, right click in the mouse if i paste uh i'll paste this part again so because the the one you paste the test if you use the clipboard and you paste this part yeah, it will be the active one and it will be the one who, you, which will be active on your paste. So anytime you want to paste twice something, just make sure it's active first. And to make it active is you paste it recently on your computer. For example, I want to do something different. I want to do this part, but I don't want to paste with the formatting. Right now you can see the title is uh, orange. Also you can see that there is a space here. I, I don't, I mean, I don't want to use this test anyway. I mean this for font. Or something like that i just want to paste without formatting so i'll just come here and paste without formatting and now you can see that the test is no longer purple because it's no longer in formatting so that's the point that's the point that's what the point i'm trying to put across here is that if you paste something recently if you have something that what you paste recently using the clip the clipboard if i paste this part it will be the one who will be active until i paste something else so if i come select something else and it will be the one which will be active i will demonstrate this further all right okay so uh report again it's open then it will be paste uh, this image here now we have this image so right now it's one which is active so if i come down here and paste using and it's still the same image that has been pasted over and over. Why? Because it's the one which I pasted recently and it's the one which is now active. Control Z. Okay, so that's it about uh, copying. Remember, that's the only shortcut we have added. I know you you knew about this tool before, that is Control C and Control V. Uh, so the only shortcut we have added is Win, Windows Key, plus V, which means you click on Windows Key on your computer plus V and the clipboard will pop up. Now I want to show you something on the clipboard. Now the other three, okay, a clipboard carries, uh, um, will have a maximum of 10 uh, items. They can be images, they can be test or whatever in, but it's possible to copy in your computer. It have a maximum of 10. Now, once you copy the 11th, it will be discarded. So the older ones will be discarded. For example, if I copy something here and it's number ten, number eleven, this one will be discarded for to give a, a space for the one I have just recently copied. So, okay. So that why am I saying that? Because if you click on these three dots here, we have three options: there is delete, there is speed, and there is clear all. These two, and delete and clear all, might be 
well, not complicated to know what they mean, but pin has a different mail, has a different function, which I'll tell you. Okay, so if you pin an item, let's say I pin this part here, and then I mean I pin this one. What this means is that now you can see it's pinned. I can either pin it or unpin. Now what this means is that once I copy a maximum, I, I can copy a, okay, yeah, a maximum of 10, these ones, will, these, the ones that are pinned will not be deleted, but they will go at the bottom, they'll be there, and they will stay there. Also, one very interesting fact is that when, once you switch off your computer, everything, everything in the keyboard will be deleted, except what is pinned. So you can keep things pinned here forever until you delete them yourself or you unpin them manually so the computer will not automatically delete whatever is pinned it, you have to delete them yourself they can stay there for the longest time possible forever actually until you unpin them or delete them okay so you so now we know what that what pin does so it can also unpin then you can go ahead and delete something like that. Also, you can go ahead and clear all. Yeah. So, you see, once I clear all, this one did go. Why? It's because it's pinned. So, I have to unpin it and clear all. So, remember, what we saying that that was simple. Clean, clear all, sorry, uh, pin and unpin. Then there is the delete. So, those are the four functions that will help you. So that's the so I don't think there is anything else I need to mention. Um okay, okay, so I want to mention something a little here. I will just copy this because I have just cleared. Okay. Well anytime anytime when you copy something and you use the clipboard to paste it, it will be pasted with formatting. It works as this this option here. Control V. Not like this one. Not like Control Shift V. No. Anytime when you copy anything and it costs the clear board and you use the clear board to paste, it will be pasted using the shortcut Control V or the paste. Pasting that or without formatting, you have to do it manually. And like I said, to do that, you have to make sure whatever you want to paste without formatting is the one which is the latest, it will, you, it's the one which is active, which means it's the one you pasted. Recently, I mean, the last one you pasted before uh, listening to paste, paste that formatting. So I'll go ahead, now the formatting is out, we don't have this formatting, and then when I paste it to that formatting, it will be like that. So that's it for this video right now. So please remember to subscribe and also leave a comment if you have any questions or you have something you need me to know. Also, if you have ideas of another tutorial I should make, please leave a comment. Also, you can message me directly and I'll always reply to your comments. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.